Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to talk about how to create a basic SVG in Inkscape, which is a free to download program on your computer. You could probably follow these same tactics with GIMP, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to go through it in Inkscape. Um, before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below. That not only keeps you motivated to continue making these videos, but it also allows you to see when I put new videos up on my channel. Okay, and I post about a lot of different stuff. Today I'm going to be working on a series of Inkscape videos, and we're going to start from the basics and work our way up if you're looking to sell digital downloads and digital SVGs on Etsy. So again, I'm just going to go through a basic text example. We're going to check it out in Silhouette Studio, and we're going to check it out in Cricut Design Space, okay? So first things first is we're going to get our text out there. And do, 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 click off of that. And I'm a bit of a font hoarder, so I have a lot of them. There are certain ones that are my go to. And voila, I'll post the links to those texts below. So now that you have your words, let me move this out of the way. Let me move all these out of the way. There we go. You can kind of place them where you want. I actually I have this sign in my um, dining room right now. So it's a cute sign. Everybody always laughs when they see it. You can make your text uniform if you want. Um, one thing I will mention is when you are expanding your text, make sure your aspect ratio is locked. You can eyeball it. Um, for the script, I'm going to do that because these two right here, I know I want to be a little bit bigger. But for this, I'm going to try to make them as uniform as possible. So I'm just going to copy how big that text was. And it looks like this one's a little bit bigger. So I will... Make this one the same. All right, so we got that all sorted, right? Now you're going to select all of your text and hit Control Shift A to align your text. So what this is going to do is this is going to center everything on the vertical axis, and then it's going to distribute all of the centers equally. Okay, you're going to group it and then move it to the center of your page. Okay, now I'm going to show you what this will look like. I'm just going to click save real fast in Silhouette Studio without moving any further. And a lot of people will not move any further with this. And this is where the trouble gets in. If you don't know what you're doing or you don't test out your files. When I click on send, you can see that with the script text, you're going to have cuts on your letters because the text was not unionized. So we're going to go back and fix that. I'm going to close out of here. It would do the same thing in Cricut Design Space. So let's ungroup this. Okay. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to union, um, unionize. You're going to create everything to a path because right now they're text. So if I try to ungroup this, I cannot do it. There's no option for me to ungroup because the text, um, it's not a path yet. So you're going to go to path, object to path, and you can see that it also has a hotkey here, Shift Control C. So Again, I'll go through it again. Path, object to path, or here. You could click on it and hit Control Shift C, and then Control Shift C. Now what, you're, what you will notice is you can ungroup these, okay? And then you can go to Path, Union, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that with everything. And what this is gonna do is Um, and I'm using the hotkeys now. Is it's going to weld all your text together. Okay. So now I'm going to group everything and I'm going to click file, save. We're going to go ahead and open this up in Silhouette Studio. And it's ready to cut. 
So you can see that that went away, okay? Now you have the full cut and you're not cutting into any other letters, right? Now with Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Upload Image, Browse, and Test. Now, you can see what's gonna happen here. It's gonna come out like this, and it's gonna to open too big. This happens to me every time. I'm dumping things into Design Space. So you can see here, with this little triangle, Image too large, reduce image size. Everything's grouped together, right? So it's just good. So you're just gonna come over here to size and you're just gonna change your width down to like, I don't know, 12. Make sure your aspect ratio is locked. And then you're going to um, put your X position to zero and your Y position to zero. And that'll bring it up for you, okay? Then you have it here and you can expand this out. And if you click on make it, oh boy. Okay, so I'm not sure why it's giving me this error. I'll have to go back and see because it looks like. Let me see if I can take that out and make it. Okay, so it is sorting it by color right now. And I think the reason why is because it was just too big. So let me go ahead and. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the size is way, 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 way big. And it's because my document size is not where it needs to be. Um, so now that I bring that down, you're going to weld everything. That's going to keep everything on the same mat. And then you're just going to click on make it and it will cut the entire thing out. So sorry about that little snafu there. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So. I just showed you how to take a basic set of text and test it in both programs so that you know that it's working. Um, and so you can cut in both of the programs and create that for self. So that's all I have to go over in this video. If you guys got something out of this, again, please go ahead and click on like and subscribe below. That keeps me motivated to continue making these videos and showing you guys different ways to in increase your passive income. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. Um, or go ahead on over to my Facebook group and I can try to help you out with this. I hope everybody has a great night.